I'm David Kirstein, President of Peak Performance Consulting Group, and I'm here at the Financial Brand Forum in Las Vegas. And I just stepped out the exhibit hall to get to hopefully a little quieter space, and I wanted to give you my thoughts and impressions from what I've seen. Uh, it's always exciting to go through the exhibit hall and reconnect with vendors and partners who you've worked with in the past and know, but it's really exciting to see some of the new things and new innovations that are occurring. And in that regard, I often get questions, and I certainly got them uh, this time, which is, who have you seen that's particularly innovative and interesting that I should be paying attention to? And at the same time, almost a pivot to, but you know, it's, it's a little overwhelming to kind of see all of this, think about how in the world are we gonna implement it, especially around the really exciting new things that are being done in terms of data management, in terms of analytics, in terms of customer analytics, in terms of their behavior and, and, uh, 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 and their uh, patterns of activity, uh, as well as simplification of processes, especially around simplification of loan, small business processes, et cetera. And often this kind of reverts back to, you know, I'll just wait for my core provider to bring it out. Uh, and we'll work with them. They'll have a better sense about what the uptake is on it and they'll be easier to work with. And while I understand the appeal of that, that nevertheless I'd suggest to you that that may not be your best strategy. Uh, just Fiserv and FIS and Jack Henry and others have certainly have acquired a number of other smaller companies that are uh, maybe excellent solutions for you in the long run, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're all integrated in a way or that they're the right solution for you. So a better strategy, I think, is for you to step back and to say, what do we need, really need to provide for, to serve our customers' needs now and especially in the future? Where, where do we need to go? What types of services do we need to offer? And coming to that conclusion, who's best in breed? Who really does that well? And I'd suggest you don't ignore the fintechs because they built their business model on, uh, at least the ones that are selling to financial institutions, they built their business model on simplicity of implementation. Why would you go to them as opposed to your core provider if they couldn't seamlessly bolt on to your system? So they've gotten really good about saying we can integrate with your core system, we can do it in a matter of weeks, at worst, a couple of months, and we can have you up and running, it won't take you any IT resources, it's not a long project plan that you need to manage, and you can focus on what do you need for your customers, and how can we then, how can you then uh, implement that and get customer uptake so that they're actually using it and you're seeing the results. I'd also say that many of these have gotten to be very low cost. So the risk about trying something new and uh, uh, having to make a big investment is just significantly diminished because the investment's small, it's easy to implement, and you can focus more on what are my customer needs rather than what are my technology problems to do it. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, this is, if you've never attended the Financial Brand Forum, your marketing and product people certainly should. I hope you'll do it next year, and I hope you found this uh, uh, little video blog useful.